100 million to fund life-changing research. A hundred million dollar investment for life-changing research and development into women's health. Women of America, this is our moonshot. The Sprint for Women's Health is a new approach at ARPA-H to be able to catalyze the ecosystem in women's health research in areas that disproportionately and uniquely affect women. The last hundred years of biomedical research, um, it's been very focused on male clinical trial subjects. And it wasn't until the 1990s that it was even required uh, that women had to be included in clinical trials. So there's almost 100 years of catching up in that clinical data that we need to do. There are a lot of diseases that affect women disproportionately. And one that's surprising to many people is cardiovascular disease. It actually affects women more than it does men. Women make up two thirds of the cases of all Alzheimer's cases, and no one knows why that is. We don't know. In endometriosis, in women's cancers, in pregnancy, every woman goes through menopause and it, we don't understand how it works, how it affects our body. We are going to give women's health researchers and startups the funding they need to grow and to help them bring ideas to markets. It's a really special moment of time. If you're close to women's health right now, there's this energy in the community. There are a lot of researchers, a lot of small companies finally getting together to advance the state of the art of women's health. We have the ability to move rapidly and then we can move out where other funding agencies can fill those gaps. And so we had some program managers raise their hands and put together concepts that became ultimately the Sprint for Women's Health. So thank you everyone for joining ARPA H's Sprint for Women's Health Proposers Day. We were so excited about the response for the Sprint for Women's Health. We had over 1,700 submissions. We've had submissions from 45 states in the District of Columbia, as well as 34 different countries all around the world. We didn't even know 34 countries knew about ARPA H, which was really exciting. That number, 1,700, is about 20 times the average number of proposals that we received for an effort. So it really was a special moment in time. The awardees collectively are receiving over $100 million in ARPA-H funds. We have a, a really incredible mix, many who have never worked with government before. Nonprofit organizations, small businesses, large businesses, as well as academic groups. One of the things about our awardees as well is yes, there's some incredible technological achievements that they will be pursuing under these efforts, but many of them come with personal stories. They have a passion because they themselves have a disease, perhaps their mother or grandmother had this disease. Um, and so it's really inspiring that they're really bringing together the, the humanness about some of these challenges together with the technology. Our goal is to develop a novel cell-based therapy for the treatment of ovarian cancer. A simple blood test to diagnose endometriosis. Using artificial intelligence to quantify pain with the help of smart wearable sensors. Add an immune system to the tumor to fight the tumor directly. A wearable headband for real world lymphatic system monitoring during sleep. Restore the health of the vaginal microbiome to treat disease. At home tocolytic delivery system to combat preterm labor. A nano drug delivery device to treat ischemic stroke. A bioengineered ex utero model of pregnancy. A specialized in microchips that will allow everyone to be tested for a multitude of STI. Novel at home strategy to control the virus that causes cervical cancer. Push the conditions associated after menopause like osteoporosis, heart disease and dementia and therefore compress morbidity and increase the health span. This is a sprint but it's also a marathon. A hundred million dollars in women's health is just a drop in the bucket but we hope after this 24 months, what if we can turn this $100 million into a billion dollars where we can catalyze not only ARPA-H and other federal agencies, but investors to be able to realize that this is gonna make a huge impact in, in women's lives all across America and all across the world. And bringing hope for women. This is just one step in what I hope is a, is a very long transformation for women's health. And maybe 30 years from now, we won't have a conversation because women's health won't be something that we need to play catch up on anymore, but it will just be considered health.